Hi, I hope you had a great weekend. <clears throat> well, today I want to talk about a particular tree that grows across our country and Africa as well. And if you go down to South India, the tradition was every family home had this little tree planted in their courtyard. Now this tree, you can use the leaves, you can use the flowers, you can use the seeds to add a lot of nutrition to your food. What I'm talking about is the drumstick tree. All of us are familiar with drumstick, you know, those little long things which have these green little pods and you find that in sambar and different vegetarian preparations. Then we also know that moringa, which is the leaf, the leaf of the drumstick tree today is sold as a superfood for, you know, a lot of money in different parts of the world. Now, what I want to talk about is something that is native to India, was used in Africa because it grows in Africa several years ago, basically to combat malnutrition in children and to basically prevent anemia in pregnant women. There were a lot of babies being born with low birth weight and there were a lot of babies that were born, you know, very, very sick and malnourished. And the government of Africa basically introduced the use of these moringa leaves and drumstick in the cooking of everyone to basically combat malnutrition. Now today, what we're, what we're trying to understand is when we have something that grows in our country, yet we try to search for broccoli and kale and all of these things, they're not bad things. You can go ahead and have that if you want to. But you know, why are we giving up these local foods? You know, there's a mentality where people think that all of these foods are categorized as something called poor man's food, that people in villages eat this. You know, so it's not, it's not good enough for us anymore. Well, let me tell you that most of these people have healthier lifestyles than us and healthier diets more healthier diets than us and that's why you don't find as many lifestyle diseases as we find in metropolitan urban cities and in affluent societies as those as much as you find in villages and stuff like that well coming back to this now why this is my favorite superfood on my plan in fact we should be careful of calling anything a superfood because the moment it becomes a superfood we'll all end up paying a lot more money for it so moringa now if we're talking about the drumstick that you have I can't tell you how nutritious this is, which is why I always say to people in South India that your sambar and your dosa, your sambar and your idli is a complete, well-balanced, fantastic meal that has carbohydrates, fermentation, protein, nutrients, fiber, good fat, and everything in this one combination. It's a different story that we eat more carbohydrates and that people today from eating two idlis eat six idlis, and they put a lot of refined oil in there, dosas and all of that stuff and they've messed up the way that they eat but the original way when you're doing it with portion control and you're sticking to your local cuisines that your ancestors brought you up on at that time there was absolutely no disease like we have today now in the moringa when you open up the drumstick you have these little pods in the pods has all the magic all the nutrition right from the b vitamins now why do we need b vitamins because it helps us to break down our food in our system we all know people who eat organic and constantly eat all this health obsessed, healthy food and all of this stuff and yet they're still sick because it's not about what you eat. Does your body have the right amount of vitamins to break down the foods that you eat? And the drumstick pod ha is filled with B vitamins, including, B, including B2 and B6. B6 is my favorite for people who want to lose weight. B6 is pyridoxine, which is used in almost every weight loss formula supplement across the world because B6 has everything to do with breaking down fats in your system, breaking down carbohydrates in your system, which in turn translates into healthy weight loss for you. Now, it's a rich source of vitamin C, calcium and iron, making drumsticks a fantastic food for people with weak bones, osteoporosis, osteopenia, arthritis, anything to do with your joints, weak bones. We still chase milk, thinking milk is gonna fix our bones. And I always tell you that India and the US are the highest consumers of dairy and calcium supplements, and India and the US have the highest amount of osteoporosis. Does it connect? Does it make logical sense? Absolutely not, because we're sold that as a lie. We're sold that as a myth to believe that the more calcium and the more dairy we have, the stronger bones we have. Well, you, when you eat drumsticks, if you take, if you, Take the drumstick and you remove these pods and you get one cup, a portion, a cup portion size of these. It has about 150% of your RDA or vitamin C that you need, which means in that one serving of, of the Moringa pods, you can get more than enough of vitamin C that you need in your system. You're gonna get iron, you're gonna get calcium, you're gonna get magnesium, you're gonna get the precursor of vitamin A, which is beta carotene for your hair, your skin, your eyesight, your immune system. All of these together are anti-inflammatory and today medical science is looking at the connection of the prevention of Alzheimer's 
with the consumption of anti-inflammatory foods and one of them is the drumstick that we consume but not many of us consume this now with the change of weather we're hopefully moving into the monsoons very soon and people will begin to fall sick because of the change in weather and a drop in immunity what you want to do is boil these drumsticks and remove the pods out of it now when you have these pods they're soft you can eat it plain you can mash it and put it into your lentils, into your kitchidi in case your kids don't like it. Or you can eat it the original way where you basically suck the pods out of the drumstick. But the more that you get into your system, I can't tell you how many health benefits you're going to get into it. We recently submitted to the government of India a project of the usage of Moringa leaves. The leaves, which is sold into Moringa powder, has the ability to raise the amount of iron, to raise the amount of calcium, vitamins, and antioxidants in everyone. Not just people who are malnourished, but even people in cities. Because I always say people in urban cities are also malnourished today. A lot of us think we're nourished well just because we're eating all of this processed and so-called organic food, which is all fake but we're all undernourished and malnourished, which is why we have deficiencies. And because we have deficiencies, our hair is falling, our skin is looking bad, we're aging rapidly, we, our immune system is low and we keep getting sicker and sicker. So this is something that everyone can do. The day we change our mentality and stop terming foods like jaggery, kitchidi, moringa, drumstick as a poor man's food, we put our egos and prides down and we start in fact adopting their behavior. You know, of moving more, sitting on the floor while eating, sitting in a hunch position and not on chairs, sleeping on hard mattresses, eating local foods that grow seasonally, no matter how, how, how bored our shallow minds may constantly get and we need more and more variety all the time. That's when the health of our country and the health of ourselves are going to constantly change. So coming back to purification of blood, one of the quickest ways to purify your blood, people spend lakhs and lakhs to go to some of all, to all these detox centers all over the world and they think that they've done something really good and come back. You have your own foods growing in your own country that can purify your blood. Things like moringa, drumstick, neem. These things will purify your blood better than all these well-packaged detox programs and powders and all of these things. So if you really use your common sense and you decide to make your life a little simple. When you need to make your life a little simple, it doesn't mean you need to give up your wealth and your social circle and all the masks that we wear. It just means that in, inside you need to be a little more simple and be okay to eat all of these foods. You see all these restaurants and five stars and all of that stuff, they feed your ego through their food. They give you all, all this fancy food on plates and they make you feel special. You know, the more special you can make your ego f ego feel, the more it grows and the more it gets inflated. And that's exactly what the markets do. That's exactly what, you know, hospitality does, restaurants, five-star hotels and all of that stuff. They're feeding your ego and all of a sudden, oh, wow, I can afford it means all of a sudden your status has changed and you're eating five-star food and restaurant food and all of this stuff and you're getting sicker and sicker. So drop the egos, drop the pride and go back to eating what your ancestors ate, what your villagers ate, what people ate. You're, you're, you're no different from them in any other way. They eat the same food, you eat the same food, it doesn't make you all a class apart at all. Now when it comes to pregnancy, Moringa is fantastic for pregnancy. Women who are preparing for pregnancy, women who are pregnant must consume drumsticks because it helps with the health of the uterus. It helps keep inflammation low. Anything that can help with the health of the uterus is good for someone going through pregnancy. It will also take care of your iron deficiencies, your calcium deficiencies and everything else including your B vitamins. Your B vitamins are also required for the formation of your fetus, their DNA, their brain and all of these things together. So, so much in one simple food if we add it to our diets. And like I said, take out the pods. You can store them, you can boil them, you can mash them, you can put them in your rotis and your parathas. You can eat them plain, mix it in your kitchidi. We we'll share a couple of recipes over the, over the next couple of days. Now, when you go more scientifically into Moringa, because this is being highly studied, right from cancer to blood pressure and blood sugar levels, it contains something called chlorogenic acid, something that is also called, found in green coffee beans that the world is now chasing as a supplement to basically reduce your blood sugar levels and weight. That same chlorogenic acid is also found in Moringa. When it comes to your blood pressure, it's rich in something called quercetin. And today we know quercetin is found in onions, garlic, cruciferous vegetables, and also in Moringa that can help you drop your blood pressure along with the lifestyle changes that you make. 
it is so important and it is so important that we share that today there's a there's a, a village up in up north in india in bihar which the government and ministers have adopted and they are growing plantations of moringa they are going into villages and teaching they are teaching people and women how to use moringa in their foods so they, that we can start combating malnutrition and improve the health of pregnant women at that level you know i'm sharing this example with you because this is something that you can start doing in your life right now you can start educating your servants at home your help and your cooks to start eating that because you know what most servants start aping our lifestyles they want to eat like us they want to start eating all the crap that we eat and then their health gets affected they're better off eating the the stuff that they grew up on so you want to tell them you can buy moringa it's inexpensive you can get the leaves these leaves grow abundantly in our country and you can use the leaves in a vegetable you can even use the flowers of the moringa tree in a vegetable where you can mix it with spinach or methi and make a vegetable out of it but the leaves can be dried made into a powder you can consume anywhere between 1/4 to 1/2 teaspoon with water added to your food it's a great immune booster great to reduce inflammation people who have alzheimers or who are showing signs of alzheimers must be put on drumstick and moringa in a calculated way because it can reduce inflammation in the brain so until we wait for the research companies to come up with a scientific paper on something that's natural so they can continue feeding us all the chemicals and everything else it's time you use your own common sense and figure that hey i can add this to my daily diet and it is going to work for me because it is rich in all of these vitamins right now we don't need to wait for a scientific paper to come out you will need to wait for a scientific paper if you're going to claim that oh moringa is going to take your cancer away or moringa is going to do this and that and you're going to make profits out of it until then we we need to change our mindsets and start understanding for the longest time we're being fooled only the things that can involve profit are being researched no one's researching pranayama no one's researching good food the health benefits of foods which have always kept people healthy no one's researching the impact of walking and how it can reduce your diabetes and sugar levels and possibly reverse it why because there's no money to be made so it's people like us who now need to start using common sense and make decisions rather than just hiding behind so called science that is directed towards profits science is good it's great for us but wrong science right science and science that is being deprived from allowing the truth to come out to human beings is what we need to start being smart about so moringa is something that each and every one of you all can add to your diets even your children once you wean them off breast milk and you start getting them on food one of the most immune powerful immune boosting foods is moringa and you can peel it mash it put it into their diet and their immunity will improve the next time you have a fever you start falling sick do what i say take the moringa get a cup of the moringa pods steam it and eat it or make it into a soup and you will find that your immune system shoots up right away have a great day everyone until next time eat smart move more sleep right and breathe deep